What's going on guys and welcome to the video. So there's two things I want to discuss in this video that I brought up on Instagram this past week. One of those is my new training split in regards to resistance training, uh, upper and lower body, as well as my endurance training, running, and bringing back some uh, zone two cycling and swimming back into the picture. So I will go over that new training split here shortly. And then I'm gonna show you uh, what I do on my full mobility days. I've been getting a lot of questions about what I do for mobility, stretching wise, foam rolling, everything involved in mobility. So let's dive into the video. Again, thanks for watching, and let's go inside. Let's dive into this training split. Now I posted the same exact picture on my Instagram story yesterday. I had a lot of comments, a lot of engagement, a lot of feedback. So I wanted to dive into it. Now this doesn't break down specifics of what is involved in everything, but it's gonna be an overview of what my training looks like. Each day, seven day programming has two sessions. Some that's resistance training, weight training, upper and lower body, some that's running, there's some cycling in here, there's some dedicated mobility. We'll dive right into everything. There's an AM workout and a PM workout for all seven days. And then what I'm also gonna do is give an example of this previous week's running uh, breakdown. So you can see kind of what it looks like. Now, like I said, this is just a, a brief general overview, but in the near future, next couple of weeks, I will be releasing all of this programming so you guys can follow along if that's something you're interested in. So to jump right into it, seven days of programming. Monday, Monday morning, AM workout is a run. And you'll see kind of what this past Monday's run looked like. In the PM, in the afternoon, you know, the whole team here gets after it around 4.30, 4.45 PM after the workday is over. Uh, Monday afternoon will be a chest, tricep, and core focused weight training session. Now this is gonna be my strength day. I'll have strength days, I'll have hypertrophy or volume days. Strength days are gonna be where I'm going heavier, hypertrophy days, lighter, but higher reps, just get some volume in. So that Monday, chest, triceps, and core strength. Tuesday is gonna be a run in the AM, and then in the afternoon, the PM workout is going to be deadlift focused. This is also a strength day. Deadlift back accessory, biceps, core again. And like for my core stuff, I do a lot of hanging leg raises, GHD sit-ups, cable crunches, planks. Those are the primary core movements that I incorporate. Wednesday, another run in the morning. In the afternoon, the PM, lower body strength. So my lower body strength workouts are gonna be primarily lunges, uh, dumbbell lunges, barbell lunges, some, some glute raises, uh, there will be barbell squats, um, goblet squats, maybe extensions and curls, uh, but really focusing on like compound movements for lower body on the lower body strength day. Thursday in the morning, it's dedicated mobility. So after this portion right here, we'll go in the warehouse gym and I'll show you what some of my dedicated mobility looks like. That'll be about 45 minutes to an hour. In the afternoon, uh, this is my one off day from running a week. So what I'm gonna do is start incorporating cycling again. So I got my new road bike in, uh, so I'll do a long bike ride or swimming. I wanna start swimming again uh, in prep preparation of moving into Ironman prep after this, this marathon season. So I'll probably do some open water swimming. Friday in the morning, it is a run. And in the afternoon, shoulders, chest, and back. And this is all hypertrophy or volume resistance training. Lighter weight, higher reps, getting some blood flow moving in there, a lot of body weight stuff. Saturday in the AM, it's a run. In the afternoon of the PM, dedicated mobility again. Again, 45 minutes to an hour. And then Sunday, Sundays are always my long runs. Uh, in the morning will be my long run. And then in the afternoon and the evening, 
Um, this is probably like an optional workout. It will be lower body hypertrophy and arms. So hitting lower body resistance training again, not necessarily going really heavy on like the, the squats, goblet squats, um, you know, maybe Romanian deadlifts, stuff like that. Not going as heavier, but keeping it lighter, uh, some body weight, lower body movements. Now, before we jump into the mobility piece of this video, I wanna talk about why I'm bringing back more lower body resistance training into my training split, my training program. As a lot of you guys that follow me know that I removed a lot of my lower body strength training and resistance training when I transitioned into more endurance work. And I did this just of struggling to balance both of them. But what I'm finding is that as I eliminated resistance and strength lower body training, I opened myself up the longer I trained endurance to more injuries. And I don't really have any major injuries right now, but there's always like these small nagging injuries. And strength training, lower body strength training and core training will help you uh, mitigate, eliminate and avoid injuries during a heavy volume uh, endurance block. You know, so that's why I'm bringing more resistance, weight, lower body training back into my programming. One main reason is to uh, limit the risk of injury. And two, just as important, it will help you get stronger in your running. Lower body resistance training will help you get stronger in your running. Having stronger glutes, stronger quads, um, hamstrings, calves will help your endurance training. So I'm bringing more of that back in. So let's go over mobility stuff. So for the mobility piece of this video and uh, really what I'm doing my mobility days, uh, dedicated mobility, I'm using some pieces of equipment, I'm doing some just passive stretching. Like I said, this takes about 45 minutes to an hour on the days I do just dedicated mobility. Before a, a run in the morning, I will do like 15 to 20 minutes of this as I'm drinking my coffee, getting ready to go out on that run. So some of the things I'll do to get started is just like a massage gun. So this is by Shogun right here. And they sent us a few of these. What I'll do is I'll really just work, I throw this on. I really like this, this attachment right here. And I'll hit my, the outside of my calf. I'll hit the back of my calf. I'll hit the inside of my calf. I'll also hit my my quads, uh, I'll hit my IT band a lot because your IT band will run from your knee all over your hip. So I'll, I have my IT band and then as well as my hamstrings and my glutes. So I'll use the, the massage gun on really like my entire legs. And that's like the, the foundational piece of it. And then I will move into foam rolling. Uh, so this is a foam roller by TRX. I'm not a massive fan of this one. At home I have one that's just like round. Um, and for the, the foam roller, I will use, just lost my lacrosse ball. Foam roller, I'll throw it down on my hamstring and I'll roll around on the hamstring. Again, I will hit the IT band. So I'll roll on the side, to get my IT band. And then I'll lay on the front and I'll roll out my quads and really just break up anything that's tight. I'll find like a sore spot and I'll just chill on that for a little bit and really break it up. So like my problem areas our IT band gets really tight, quads, calves, and um, the bottom of my feet. So, massage gun, foam roller. The next piece, I'm gonna grab it real quick. Kinda fell away. I've shown this in the video before. So this is something I like to do in the morning, is I'll take my shoe off, and the bottom of your feet don't get worked very well with anything mobility-wise. So, you can throw like a lacrosse ball. I'll keep the lacrosse ball in the freezer too. Throw it in the ground when it's frozen and just roll out the bottom of your feet. And that's one of the things I like to do before every run and dedicated mobility days. You can use a lacrosse ball all over your legs too, on your shoulders, on your, your lats, but I like using it on the bottom of my feet. So I'll throw this back on. And really like the last thing for pieces of equipment, we recently got this. This is the So Right. So, P-S-O-R-I-T-E, So Right sent us a bunch of these things. 
really it's for your psoas muscles. So what you want to do is your psoas muscles are like right here and you just really lay on it, find tight spots and break it up. I really never have problems with my hip flexors or my psoas. However, what I like doing with this thing that's been amazing is because again, I'm gonna go back to my IT band gets really tight. I will use the edge of these, almost like a foam roller. I like using this better than a foam roller. And I'll scrape, I'll scrape the side of my leg. I'll scrape the front of my leg with this so right. I'll scrape the inside of my leg like this. I'll put all my pressure on that and just pretty much scrape my entire quad, calf, hamstring, and glute. So this right now is my favorite piece of equipment. They're so right. And then after all that kind of stuff is done, I'll just go into some passive stretching, which will be just my hamstrings. I'll just sit in this position for a few minutes, each leg, both sides, just open up. I'm not like trying to grab and pull as hard as possible. Just get in position, hold it, some deep breaths, passively opening up. And then to get my, my glutes, to get um, the side of like my IT band, my quads, but primarily my glutes, is I'll just get in this position right here, hold this passively. In the morning, I'll just be on my phone, just like checking the email, stuff like that. And I'll just hold this position for a few minutes. And those are some of my favorite, favorite stretches. And I'll always end with calves because my calves personally get pretty tight. Some of these positions you're not gonna be able to get into comfortably. So like to start like this, you might have to be up here. But over time, slowly work your way in, deep breaths, get comfortable with the uncomfortable, and it'll really help. Uh, injury prevention, if you have injuries, healing faster, running more comfortably. And I'll hit my calves at the end, just getting, just like this. My calves, my quads, my hamstrings get pretty tight after longer runs, especially more intense runs. And I'll just hold these positions. I'll find, you know, you can get creative. You can find tight positions. Like right here, in this position right here, I can feel it in my, my shins, on top of my feet. Just find a position, hold it, breathe deeply, open up, and just find spots in your body that are tight and find ways to open them up. But some of my favorite pieces of equipment and then just passive stretching can make a big, big difference. So that is my current new training split. That is some of the stuff I do for mobility. Place a massive emphasis on mobility and stretching and it'll go a long way. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.